Hello friends, so uh, we have seen in our last session uh, we've created the first dimension that is the product and in the dimension we had created a natural and an unnatural hierarchy that is product by category and size by color. Now we moved move on to create the time dimension which is the most important one and is, and is innovatively used in almost every cube design that you or any other developer does. So let's try to uh, start uh, developing the time dimension uh, next uh, window pops up and, and we've got apart from the existing table we have got two relevant options which can be used here we have generated a time table in the data source so what does this mean means is it would generate a time dimension table uh, in the data source uh, currently relevant to this cube and um, there is a third option which is it will go and create a time dimension table on the server which means on the database that we are trying to uh, use currently or referring currently so basically it would be created at the database server uh, or our data warehouse so that's that's the two options for us uh, but since we already have a table created uh, which is something like this let's let's take a look uh, this is our dim date table and uh, the dim date table has the date key uh, and then a full date alternate key which is uh, more of uh, of the date format that we uh, use or refer so and then we have the date number of the week and, and, and blah 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 we have the month's name we have the fiscal year calendar year semester quarter everything defined here and, and we have some other uh, specific names as well in, in the other languages that is Spanish or French those are simply populated here cool so we have so let's go with the existing table uh, and then we select the main table uh, from the main table we select the dim date since we already have one and then in the key column let's go with the date key and that's the primary key and in the name column you're going to use the full date alternate key because uh, your data would appear uh, in the date key if we go with the date key it would not appear in the way that actually we want to see uh, like so next we uh, use the full date alternate key and, and, and go on next so this populates the, uh, the various column names which are there uh, and which we would like to pick let's pick fiscal semester year quarter calendar semester year quarter uh, and then let's go with the month uh, name English month name uh, let's uh, we would also want to analyze our data for the weekend sales and weekday sales so let's also choose the English day name of the week uh, that's all I think that's all now we go uh, on and this is the final window which uh, confirms our picks uh, whatever we have picked for our dimension attributes and done so that is the initial dimension for us let me process it and so those are processed it picks up the distinct values as you can see there are five uh, rows and date keys has as many and, and blah, blah blah so all these distinct ones are aggregated now let's go back to the browser and try to see what values have we got so calendar quarter fine semester fair enough years we have the various year date key all of them populated in the form of the alternate date key English day name we have all the days although not logically ordered so they are all here and there all over the place we have the month name okay again all over the place we have fiscal quarter semester and then we have the year Fair enough. So we have uh, quite some handy work, you know, there to be done here before we actually see a clean date. So what are the things that we need to start with is let's get down and clean the names first. Let's put this as month and let's put this as day. Now let me use the property for month and then change the key column so we have the month name as the key column uh, let me also uh, let me use the month number instead so what we do is we use the English 
month number of the year where do we have that month number of the year so I think the month number of the year is, is the right value to be chosen yes so month number of the year and then we promote it and okay in the name column we simply say English month name right and in the day let's again do the same thing let's use the the day number of the month uh, sorry the day number of the week promote it and then English day name of the week fine so this would clean up the order for us if we process let's try to process it reconnect and let's to take a look at the day the days would be ordered and then let's also take the month the month would be ordered fantastic now let's try to create a hierarchy so before we do the hierarchy thing I mean we would have we, I would want two hierarchies that is calendar year semester quarter month day and then fiscal year semester quarter month day so that is something we would want as, as the two hierarchies so before that so what we do is fiscal year semester quarter month and date calendar year semester quarter month and date so let's call this both this hierarchy as fiscal and calendar cool so so we have to do uh, to identify this when the rollover occurs we, uh, we have to identify these values uniquely so go on the properties calendar year use this quarter and add calendar semester calendar year promote the year and the semester and then in the name column we select it as calendar quarter I hope I'm clear here what we are trying to do is to identify when, when, when the uh, dimension processes we have to identify the value at that level uniquely so we have to add the key columns properly such that the uh, aggregation occurs properly so uh, that's what we are doing here so let's choose this is the calendar semester so we choose calendar year because a combination of both of these would identify the data uniquely then we have calendar we call this calendar semester calendar year is, is all cool for quarter we have to again do that fiscal semester and fiscal year okay and then we add and call it fiscal quarter done for semester also what we do is fiscal semester we just add the fiscal year promote it leave it fiscal we call it the fiscal semester good so we are done there so this would uh, uniquely identify our hierarchies now the next thing is it says attribute relationship do not exist between one or more levels of this hierarchy so we have to to fix this we need to go to the attribute relationships oh my god our attribute relationship is scroll here so what we need to do is let's rectify this so what we do here is we start with cleaning up with calendar quarter month calendar quarter moves here and then we have semester sorry we, we 
we delete this wait up we have we have semester month we have month and we have quarter let's add semester here calendar semester let's add calendar semester to year right so likewise again we have to do the same thing for fiscal quarter so month and fiscal quarter and fiscal quarter and fiscal semester and fiscal semester and fiscal year now this is our attribute relationship has been created now as we know each of them will uh, roll up to the next level so we can as well define it uh, so so define it to a rigid relation so we can do that And low, let's go back to our dimension structure. It, structure it all looks clean. There is no more squibble. The only squibble here is for the columns that we have included in the hierarchies. It says uh, do away with them. So let's do away with them. Uh, let's accept the suggestion and we put it to false. Here, put it to false. only true value I would be your day because day we want we want to look at the weekends uh, so that would be a cross dimensional data so now your scribble all the scribbles are gone let's process this Okay, there is some error at the month, so let's try to take a look what is the problem here. We said month number of the year and let's also add calendar year. Okay. So the process has successfully processed all the data and your date dimension is pretty much ready. So let's go on to the browser and let's reconnect and refresh. So what we see here, we see day, fiscal and calendar. So those are the three only options only for days. For, for days, you have all the days uh, because we want to analyze across dimensional data for that we'll do when we prepare the queue. Uh, let's look at the calendar we have the calendar values so this looks good July August September for 2006 we have January February and all the data also aligned properly so that is excellent now let's go back to the fiscal so for the different fiscals we have the data again aligned so uh, likewise the data has been aligned in terms of uh, as you can see fiscal quarter semester year and then you have the month and the dates so all of them are aligned properly so uh, now our date dimension is ready 
whatever uh, I mean the last point that I would like to emphasize is, is a date dimension is uh, a balanced dimension uh, we have seen natural and unnatural dimensions in our last uh, demo session date dimension is a balanced dimension by which I mean for any uh, value uh, for uh, for for any any uh, traversing path from uh, across the level the number of levels would be this would be the same so what do i mean by that is for any child to get to to any level the number of traversals will be same so there is no skip level and at the same time every level has a valid parent so that is what a, a balanced dimension means that i mean uh, which means is for a child from the date uh, to get to the year it has to traverse three dimensions uh, three levels and and every child at this level of, of, of date would have to do so but it is an unbalanced uh, but it is an unnatural one and not a natural this is an unnatural balanced dimension unnatural because each of the level has the values which are again present on the same uh, on the different uh, parents so basically that is what was the definition for unnatural hierarchy that uh, any child would have one and only one parent so and here we have the child is having more than one parent so it is an unnatural hierarchy yet a balanced one so just remember that uh, and i hope to see you in the next session of our third dimension uh, third uh, when where we create a third dimension which is of a uh, parent key type so we would we would learn to see how we create an unbalanced dimension so that would be an unbalanced one thank you friends and if you like this video please subscribe thank you